Hi, our project is the Gnome Step Rosenbluth Initiative or the effect of toroidal field and internal plasma current strengths on the presence of magnetic island MHD instabilities in a tokamak fusion device. By Ari Poisic and Kalea Wen. The world is currently in an energy crisis of sorts. We are highly dependent on non-renewable resources to power plants that harm our Earth through their means of energy production. Fusion and the creation of commercial fusion power plants are currently considered the ultimate solution to this problem. According to the ITER research team, which currently consists of 35 different nations working together to build the world's largest fusion reactor, controlled fusion of atoms releases 4 million times more energy than burning fossil fuels, and 4 times as much as fission reactions would with equal mass. The reactants for fusion could be sourced from abundant assets like seawater, and no long-lasting waste is created as a byproduct. Because of this, commercial fusion power plants would be a clean, renewable, and abundant source of energy that could power the Earth for millions of years. Our experimentation aims to contribute to this goal and eventual application. Nuclear fusion is simply a reaction in which two or more nuclei are fused together to form completely new compounds. An example of this would be our sun. For our research, this process is facilitated by the Gollum tokamak, located at the Czech Technical University in Prague, and an educational thermonuclear reactor. So, this begs the question, what is a tokamak? Well, a tokamak is a toroidal fusion device. This means it's shaped like a donut. A tokamak uses magnetic fills to contain plasma within a vacuum chamber and heat it to high temperatures to generate fusion between tritium and deuterium atoms, both of these being isotopes of helium, while using a central solenoid as a transformer. The solenoid also generates a toroidal electric field used to accelerate the ions to create the plasma in conjunction with a generated, to generated toroidal magnetic field. Because plasma has an internal resistivity due to Faraday's law, as the plasma flows through the magnetic field, it induces a current within itself, which in turn induces a poloidal magnetic field. These keep the plasma stable during discharge, which is the period of energy generation, after which the plasma is soft terminated. The solenoid is short-circuited. Short now, the plasma is an MHD surface with many nested surfaces inside. Think of it as donuts inside of donuts. Along these surfaces lie magnetic field lines of the poloidal and toroidal fields, which are helical in shape. Plasma can only travel along these field lines, which means that super hot plasma at the center cannot spread itself out through the net surface, ensuring high temperatures capable of generating fusion. However, Instabilities can occur in the plasma, the one we're studying in particular being called a magnetic island, which is a reconnection or cutching of the magnetic field lines. This means that the plasma can spread itself out, cooling down, and causing a loss of confinement. The question is, what are they caused by? The big question of our research is how do tokamak input parameters influence magnetic island presence? Our hypothesis is that there is a correlation between the magnetic ion presence and the toroidal magnetic field and plasma current of the tokamak. Our null hypothesis is that there is no correlation between these three values. For our project, we're using the Golem tokamak in the Czech Republic, as my colleague stated earlier, the shot database of the Golem tokamak, Excel, MATLAB, and R for analysis, and the online interface of the Golem tokamak. We're using the online interface to run shots ourselves and gather data on the various factors we're hypothesizing on. We will be gathering data from four coils positioned in the poloidal cross section of the tokamak called the Mirnov ring. The signal we measure is the induced voltage on the coils by the poloidal magnetic field. Since perturbations in the poloidal magnetic field are the primary indication of magnetic islands, we will be examining the power spectra from the most prominent Mirnov coil for each shot. This investigation has chosen three parameters of MHD presence that are considered of paramount importance magnitude. for the basic detection the of magnetic islands in particular. These parameters, for one these parameters are the edge event. safety factor, the standard deviation of the absolute maximum extrema in the shots. set of all relative extrema for a peak's lotus on the power spectrum, this is basically just power spectrum shape, and the amplitude of the absolute maximum extrema detected on the power spectrum, all these values being calculated in MATLAB. So first, usually, when the safety factor is a small rational or natural number, magnetic islands are likely to arise. That makes a safety factor a variable of the environment in which the MHD stability will occur. For this experiment, there was a lack of knowledge of the MHD position in the plasma due to technological constraints and time limits. This caused an error in the calculation of the safety factor, so the edge safety factor is used instead, where the position in the plasma is taken at the edge. Therefore, this analysis will conclude that the lower the edge safety factor, the greater the chance of MHD activity in general. 
As for statistics with the power spectrum, the higher the max amplitude and the sharper or abrupter the peak on the spectrum, the greater the chance an MHD activity or instability caused that peak. This makes the statistics with the power spectrum indicative of actual MHD presence. The max amplitude of the power spectrum will be most indicative of MHD size. For this statistical analysis, we performed a correlation matrix on all these variables and simple linear regressions on each user parameter and characteristic of MHG presence. To address this research hypothesis, the chart of p-values obtained in R supports significant relationships between every independent and dependent variable pairing except for the max plasma current and the power spectrum shape. This is remarkably interesting and implies that plasma current does not actually correlate with the presence of the MHD structure itself, but the environment it is induced in and its size, or the safety factor and the amplitude of the power spectrum. Additionally, no regression was able to be performed on the relationship between toroidal field strength and the edge safety factor due to its quadratic relation. Therefore, no p-value was yielded. Excluding these relationships, this investigation's hypothesis is supported by these results, meaning variables of toroidal field and internal plasma current strength will significantly affect the presence of MHD instabilities in general. Now we will review how each of the three parameters of MHD presence chosen for this project varied with a controlled change of one of the independent variables while the other was held constant. Considering the error bars on the constant variable shown earlier, an R-squared value for each fit on the graph collective of about 0.6 was taken as meaningful for this investigation speculation. The edge safety factor exhibits a positive quadratic relationship with the varying toroidal field and a negative linear relationship with varying plasma current strengths. This implies an optimal toroidal field strength for the lowest possible edge safety factor value from our data set. This value would of course depend on the voltage run to the capacitors ultimately powering the plasma current. The highest possible plasma current value would be favorable for the edge safety factor numerically. More tests are needed though with sets of varying plasma current strengths to determine a relationship for this optimal toroidal field value. Relative to discharges mentioned in Dr. Markovic's diplomatic thesis, the optimal magnetic field value found in this research, about 134 milliteslas, is relatively low compared to the chosen constant plasma value from this data set. The power spectrum's shape significantly correlates with the toroidal field in a positive relation. On the contrary, the maximum amplitude peak of the power spectrum is correlated with the toroidal field in a negative relation. This is another indicator of the existence of an optimal toroidal field value for the generation of MHD instabilities. However, since the power spectrum shape is the paramount factor in answering the dichotomous question of existence of MHD instabilities or not in each discharge, the minimum toroidal field strength for plasma generation is essential in this as well. This requirement of sufficient field is supported in task 13 instructions for the Gollum tokamak as well. The maximum amplitude on the power spectrums exhibit a positive exponential relationship with the plasma current strength. This agrees with the results from this edge safety factor, that the higher the plasma current strength, the greater the MHD presence. Additionally, this is consistent with Dr. Markovic's thesis on measurement of magnetic fields on Gollum tokamak, which found that high plasma current is necessary for any MHD research. It is safely concluded that the best environment for generating MHD instabilities during a period of discharge is one with high plasma current and low magnetic field relative to stable discharges. This will result in a low safety factor and large power spectrum with a minimal number of prominent peaks. From the significant statistics gathered during this research, it is speculated that the plasma current correlates with an environment suitable for generation of MHD structures, but not their actual presence. It should be noted that an optimal magnetic field value for a given plasma current strength exists for MHD generation. Future research warrants investigation concerning this value's relationship to plasma current strength. It is also suggested t-testing be performed on signals from different Mirnov coils to test to statistically confirm the amplitude differences seen on these coils is solely related to distance and not another factor. The discovered correlations and relationships found in this experimentation can contribute to determining with finality the cause of MHD activity and assist in allowing for the reproduction of MHD instabilities in a controlled environment for study. This project serves as the high school senior research of Ari Poisic and Kalea Wen for the Governor's School at Innovation Park, George Mason University, Virginia. 
we would like to acknowledge and show our deepest gratitude and thanks for the following individuals who facilitated and supported this investigation. Dr. Jana Brutankova, Dr. Aless Sakar, and Dr. Rojteka Svobodi. We would like to also acknowledge and thank the following institutions. The Global Talent Mentoring Program, the Governor School at Innovation Park, George Mason University, and the Plasma Lab at the Czech Technical University. Thank you.